actually, I thought the fight went a little longer than than I expected. I thought that Andy was gonna uh, be improved a lot uh, from being down there with Canelo. Uh, Chris is Chris. Chris is if he's uh, motivated, if he's prepared, and he stays in the gym. Uh, I know Joe Goosen's not the kind of guy that takes any shit from anybody, so I knew that he was going to be in shape. I knew that uh, uh, we're going to get a good Chris. Yes, he is 40 years old, uh, but uh, he's still an, an, an exceptional, uh, how can I put it, uh, a, a good contender. Uh, he's um, he's had a crack at the title and hasn't been successful, but doesn't mean that he's not a very good fighter. Uh, Andrew Rees was in my camp. He sparred with some of my guys. I knew what Andy had, and Andy is not, uh, Andy has got a, uh, he's got to take advantage of his of the qualities that he has. Uh, he's not going to be Canelo. He's not going to be anybody else. He's got to be Andy. And uh, the guys in my gym, uh, at times, uh, in, in the other gym where he was at, kind of showed him that he had a, lot, a long ways to go. Uh, if he stays with Eddie and he continues to have discipline like he did for this fight, uh, and I don't mean just because he lost some weight, because he lost that same kind of weight when he was with me. I'm talking about just paying attention to what they're doing down there because – uh, Canelo didn't become Canelo overnight. It takes it, it takes a while. It, it, it's, Andy's not going to be able to come home now and party for two months and then go back for a month and a half or two months. I think he's going to uh, improve. So I hope that uh, that he continues the discipline with Eddie and, and if Eddie can get that out of him, I think he'll make him a better fighter. Right now, he's still marginal. Did you notice that? Did he have discipline problems when he was with you? No, I don't take any crap either. Uh, but uh, it's it's not so much in the gym. Uh, you can't, you can't, in today's uh, boxing, in today's athletics, whether it be football, basketball, baseball, boxing, you can't fight, uh, train for two months and then take two months off and go party and get fat and then go back and redo it again. And that's been his MO and, and, and that, that just cannot be. He's got to get right back in the gym, just like Canelo does. Doesn't Canelo, every time you see Canelo fight, he's right back in the gym like the next week. That's the modern athlete. That's what the athlete has to do. If Andy chooses not to do that, well, then it's going to be uh, the same Andy all the time. Uh, no improvement, uh, no no further development. Chris, yeah, no. Chris put him down. Well, he's he's not that hard to hit, uh, and he wasn't that hard to hit in my gym. Uh, just he's got fast hands and 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 he's uh, he's got great skills, but uh, it, just those those two things are not going to make you. Uh, uh, he a world champion again. He caught Joshua on an off night, and he had a, the best night that he could ever have, and he became champion. Now I, I hope that he doesn't expect it to be that easy again. Do you think though that with uh, Eddie and, and like you mentioned, he stays disciplined, he stays working, he can be heavyweight champion again? I think it's not only Eddie. I think it's the the atmosphere that Canelo provides for those kids. Uh, it's not only Andy. It's Oscar. It's it's the other kids that uh, Eddie has, but uh, being disciplined and watching a guy work like uh, Canelo does, and it's and and I'm not just I'm not saying it because I was there or I've been there, but you see that in in some of the films and some of the things that he does and some of the exercise that he's doing, and he's in the gym a week after his fights, and so if if uh, if Andy can do that and, and continue to learn and sponge off of him, then yeah, he could be a better fighter. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna say he's gonna do the same thing he did to Joshua the, the last time, but uh, he can be a better fighter. It depends on Andy, really. It doesn't depend on anybody else. Mm. Mm. If he were to, uh, I don't know, go, they talked about him either facing Wilder or Ortiz. Like, like stylistically, like how do you see those fights for him? Ortiz is a better fight for him. He doesn't want to face Wilder. He'll, get, he'll be flat on his back and be hurt. Why do you feel that way, Abel? A lot of people if, if, would, would say if, that uh, Tyson Fury gave the blueprint to beat Wilder. You just press Wilder, and, and Andy's a guy that presses people. Uh, Tyson Fury uh, is Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a special talent. Andrew Ruiz is not yet. Uh, Wilder uh, can do the same thing Ariola did, but uh, will be ten times as hard, ten times harder, and he'll be sleeping. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.